YouTube. I uh, saw a video the other day from Ammohead73, and I'll put the link at the bottom for some homemade biscuits. What made these unusual is the ingredients. Only two ingredients, self-rising flour and heavy whipping cream. And his uh, video, he's got one cup of heavy whipping cream and two cups of flour. Well, I was uh, cooking for a couple, for about three of us. And I had three, or I mean, excuse me, I had two cups of heavy whipping cream, so I used four cups of flour, just double the recipe. And using a spoon right here, trying to make sure that that, uh, I don't pack it down, you know, the flour down. And, uh, of course, the spoon's not going to work right, so might as well get something out with a nice straight edge. And, uh, level that uh, flour off real nice right there not make a huge mess and uh, put that into the bowl and uh, not to bore you with uh, measuring out the four cups of flour but uh, there's four cups of flour in the bowl and now for uh, two cups of heavy whipping cream you notice we get a little bit of flour on the uh, counter that's okay we're going to put a little bit more here in a little bit when we roll this out uh, a little bit of bench flour but mix this up real good and uh, yeah I thought the uh, Mr. Ammo head was uh, had lost his mind whenever he put this recipe out because uh, you know where's the shortening and all this other stuff that buttermilk that you're supposed to have in biscuits anyway uh, so I thought I'd, I'd have to give this a try you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. And I tell you what, I just threw away every biscuit recipe I've got. Um, make sure you check out the uh, second part of this video where I combine, take the uh, hash brown casserole and the biscuits out of the oven at the same time. It'll be in the video here in a few minutes, or later video. But anyway, just took all this and uh, put it on the counter with a little bit of flour. And uh, just mix this up real good. It's uh, real flaky, almost like a um, a pie crust, almost flaky. And it uh, really surprised me. Uh, so uh, I just uh, kneaded this in real good, trying to incorporate it all, make sure it's all nice mixed in together. Like I said, there's no shortening or butter or anything in there. This is just flour and heavy whipping cream. And uh, so work gets in real good. And uh, uh, if you're not subscribed to MOHead73, uh, go over there and subscribe. He's got some excellent recipes. Uh, he's got one that I tried the other day. With a tater tot casserole. Uh, of course, this is one of his recipes. He's got some really good ones over there. Go over there and subscribe. Tell him I sent you. And uh, you'll be glad you did, I guarantee you. And uh, we're getting everything incorporated here. Getting everything all kneaded in. I think we're about done. And uh, I'm going to get the rolling pin out here in just about a second we're gonna to start to I thought I was gonna do this in layers to make it a little bit more flaky um, I don't think I needed to do it I really don't uh, this turned out super flaky but uh, for the purpose of this video I went ahead and did it uh, I just went ahead and rolled this out you want to roll it out about a quarter of an inch and yeah, that's about a quarter, between a quarter and a half inch. That's what I did. And uh, you can see where right here I'm going to start making, uh, try to make a little bit more flaky. Uh, you know, putting some uh, layers in. And uh, make sure that we get the rest of that uh, flour and everything put in there. And uh, you can 
cut this any way that you want to. Um, I had the uh, daughter come in and she used a uh, cup to uh, cut the uh, biscuits. I didn't uh, film that part. And then uh, with the leftovers, I sat there and uh, uh, rolled that back out and then just used the knife to uh, cut out the uh, biscuits. And as you can see here, uh, what she cut out with the glass, and then what I cut out using um, the uh, knife. And uh, that's about the end of the video right there. But I want, do want to say that uh, after you try this recipe, you will uh, keep it forever. I guarantee you, this is the best biscuit recipe that you'll ever try. Uh, if you don't have any self-rising flour and some heavy whipping cream, stop what you're doing, go to the store and get it. I guarantee you, you'll be impressed.